Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are glad you are here. And if this is your first time of being here, we encourage you to subscribe in order to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you are a returning visitor, we really appreciate you for coming back. What we want to talk about today is how to solve internal server error 500 on Elementor. Usually, this is a, this is an error that we experience when we are using the Elementor uh, page builder to build pages or, blo or blog posts, and that is actually an indication that an error has occurred. Usually, this happens on the server. Uh, there are a lot of fact factors that influence this error that make this error to come up, but uh, we are going to try to solve. Uh, look for a way of solving it. Now, this method that we are going to use has been proven to be effective. It works most of the time, but just in case it doesn't work, uh, it's always advisable to troubleshoot further and look for other alternatives. But so, for that purpose, I'm displaying a page here. Now, this is my contact us page. And just in, uh, for example, um, just imagine that I'm, I'm currently working on this page and then I want to click on this update button to save my work, but that refuses to save. Instead of, uh, up, you know, that gray, you know, gray color, which is an indication that the work has been saved, instead of seeing that, what we'll be seeing across this bar is internal server error 500, meaning that an error has occurred on your server and um, your, that, that error that has occurred in your server is preventing your website from saving the work and actually basically preventing the website from you know, uh, carrying out the instruction that you've given to it. So that's what that means, an internal server error 500 around this area. So to solve that, we are going to the back end of our website, and then we are going straight to our plugin section, and then we are going to add a plugin called um, WP Sweep. Um, I don't know if you've heard of that, but it is WP Sweep. WP Sweep. Currently, the plugin is active on my site. I just want to show you. Now, I'm not currently having the problem on this web on my website, on this page or any other pages of my website. I had the problem before, and I used this method to solve it. This is why I think it's right to let you know so that you, if, in case you encounter such problem, you can also use this method to solve it. So currently, I'm not having it. I'm not having the problem. I'm just going to show you how to solve it whenever you come across it. This is the plugin called WP Sweep, and you can see currently it is active. It has been installed and it is active. So if it had not been installed, this is what it will look like. For example, you can look at this one. It says install now. If I click on this button, that will install it, and then a little pop up will appear, which is the activate, you know button. So you have to click on that activate button to get it active this way. Once you have activated it, you can now go straight to tools, the tools section of your website, tools. And then when you trace that all the way down, you will see sweep. Sweep, you can see that. So you click on that sweep, and then that will take you to the settings page of WP Sweep. When you are at that WP Sweep settings area, You'll be able to see all the parameters um, one way or the other, any of them, any of the issues that you might be having on your site. Uh, it's going to uh, outline a lot of issues, particularly uh, one that I, I always like to talk about is the revision count, which is the first option that we have here, revisions. Now, this error that we've talked about of course, mostly if uh, you've edited a particular page on your website so frequently. For example, 
um, it's your home page and then you want it to look great you know it's your first impression whenever somebody comes to your website you know, it's the first impression so you edited your home page a lot of times and that has actually accumulated a lot of revisions on the server and when this continues for quite a long time maybe a whole month two months three months elemental will be uh, this issue will cause problem on the elemental uh, uh, on, on the elemental page builder particularly on that particular on that page you are working on so to solve that we are going to go straight to that area and you'll be able to see the number of revisions you can see sometimes you see them in their thousands and then you see this particular one this one has just been edited once this is why you are seeing one here now if i want to remove this revision so that it, do, it doesn't cause problem what i'll do is to click on this sweep but if i click on this details button that will tell me in detail the number of revisions what you know what is inside what has been done a lot of details are, are going to be inside that revision section so you can sweep them one by one or you can just come all the way down to the bottom and click on this button which says sweep all now if you click on this button this will sweep everything here The, the guarantee is that if the server error was caused by a lot of revisions, this is the best way to solve it. Because this will remove the number of revisions that have been accumulating on your website, on your server, which has been causing that internal server error 500. So that will remove them all. And then your, your web page will look as though it is brand new. Even though you have edited it for a lot of months, a lot of days, it's as though nothing has been done there. So let's just, for example, click on this button, sweep. You can see that it has been swept. It has been swept. And then you can click on this too so to see that that is gone as well. You can see from one, it has turned to zero. That tells you that the, that recorded sweep, uh, revision is gone. Then you can come out with and um, look for you know whatever that needs sweeping you can click on this detail to to see more or click on sweep to sweep them one by one or if you want all of them to go at the same time then you you can click on this sweep all that will sweep everything off and then that usually solves your internal server error 500 on your elementor page and this i've only tried this on elementor I haven't tried it on other you know other issues but trust me it always works when i, I encounter this server error 500 i use this method to to correct it and then the server error just gets off without any problem so that's how to you know solve the server error pro problem on your elemental page builder particularly you know when you are having this elemental server error on a particular page not sometimes not the whole website but on a specific page so this is your best way of solving that um so that is it for now thank you for watching